Friday, 17th of November. Walking down Oxford Street, heading for Bond Street, where the new entrance, the new ticket hall, and the new corridors have opened this morning. <laughs> past John Lewis and Devonans. So Bond Street is over there, but the Disney store is here and straight away there should be a new side entrance just here. It's all new. It's so new, no one's using it. I didn't count the steps, but there is a lift. Let's use the lift. Quick, let's go in the lift. Yes. Brand new lift. <laughs> This is open just this morning. See you later. Historic first users of the lift, almost, and they had no idea. I'm gonna go down again. Let's go down to tickets and trains. So it's all step three. Welcome, welcome to your brand new Bond Street lift. Yay! <laughs> brand new. Go for it. There's a blue panel here. Well, there's no ticket machines. So there's no ticket machines here yet. They'll, they've got to put some in at some point, right? That must happen. All right, I've come around the corner. Straight away, there's a sign, Central Line Jubilee straight on, but a lift, so you can get a lift. So that first lift was just down from the street level, from the new entrance, but now there's a lift down, presumably, to the platforms. I want to get the lift first. I know that's like cheating, but I want to see where the lift goes. Oh, there's a, there's a helpful diagram. So it goes down to an interchange level, right, and then you go down again to get to the Jubilee line, but you go up, up, to get to the central line, because the Jube's deeper than central. This is confusing. Level minus six, so zero is what? So the, there's three star up any levels. What? You can see him going by. Morning. Oh yeah, morning. Brand new lifts. Yeah. So central line that way. Jubilee line. I'm gonna go. Let's go up one to the central. Whoa. Another lift. <laughs> this time, going up. Up. To minus five. This is quite confusing. I'm going to have to draw a map. There will be a map. I will draw a new 3D map. Of oh, Bond Street Station. Central line. Okay, so you've come out of the Central Line lift, and this puts you immediately. So there's the eastbound. There's the westbound. Sign, sign so new. It doesn't even say west or eastbound here yet. Okay, and we're right at the eastern end. Sorry. Of the platform. So they snuck that in there. Previously there was just this staircase and they've inserted the lift in here. Let's go back in the lift. I want to go to the Jubilee line lift. There's a corridor here. This is a new entry. Jubilee that way. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> Okay, so at that point, there's clearly a staircase down to the lift, uh, down to the Jubilee line. I'm getting another lift. I appreciate this is a lift tour. In a minute, we'll go find the new escalators. There's some new escalators as well. So, there's a new... That's where their stairs would have come out. There's a new way in with the stairs there. Morning. Are you lost? The stairs come down there. Is this cross I think this is an existing cross passageway, but they put in a new staircase 
there and then the lift here. So you've got the southbound Jubilee here and the northbound Jubilee behind me. I can't remember if this cross passageway existed before or not. Traditionally, you always came out there. Let's go and find the new escalators. Down here, towards the back, the north end of the southbound platform, there's another sign saying way out, which I think means a new way out. Yeah, so this is definitely new. This is all very, very, very new tiles, new new staircase. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Right, so I've come up the stairs from that new cross passage. We've got some stairs along a corridor, down a couple of stairs, and it brings you to here. Two new, look, up only escalators. So you've got yourself two brand new escalators with a staircase in the middle. That's intriguing that they're up only, so they're really putting in a one way system here to discourage you from coming down this way. But I bet you probably can if you ignore the no entry signs. At some point, I've got to go back and count those steps. So, where does this bring you out? To here. It's quite complicated, but I've worked it out. So, there's two passageways here, and these take you to the interchange area that's always existed between the Jubilee and the Central Line. And then you come down these passageways, and then these escalators were always. Here, so what they're c clearly trying to do on the Jubilee line is get you to exit at the northern end of the platforms and come up these two new escalators and come out this side. Notice how here there's two escalators up and there's one down. So this is so it's not one way, but this is predominantly a way out. I bet if we went over to the the traditional uh, sort of mezzanine interchange area, there'd probably be two escalators down and and one up. Oh, clearly a new corridor. Uh, I don't know where I am now. Oh, there's a gate. Why is there a gate? <gasps> oh, you know what this is. Look at the gate, people. You know it's behind the gate, don't we? All together now. Crossrail through there, but not till next year. The press office have turned up and they've insisted that I put a sticker on. I can now officially film as opposed to just walking around with my camera. Sorry about that, Nancy. <laughs> Not getting Nancy on camera. So the press have gathered. Mark Wilde, the managing director of uh, London Underground, has turned up. Let's grab him for a quote. Well, it's fabulous, isn't it, to be the new uh, Bond Street entrance. Great work by ourselves and our brilliant team of contractors here. But we've 30% capacity increase to Bond Street and we've opened it just in time for Christmas. So the customers today are enjoying a great new facility for the network. And of course the Mayor has great plans for pedestrianisation of Oxford Street itself. So if you think about the future of this is just the start of an incredible journey to this brilliant part of London. But this is the start and I'm really proud of the team who's delivered this. There's no ticket machines at the moment in the new entrance because we didn't want to fit the old ticket machines. The brand new ones that we're trialling on parts of the network are coming in the spring and they bring lots of great functionality including more accessible uh, means of communicating with customers. So bear with us while we bring the new ticket machines. <laughs> you want an uber nerdy fact? There's two types of uh walls here on the new corridors is standard tiles so whenever you see this this is known as VE panelling vitreous enamel and they use these when there's quite often stuff behind them so pipes electronics cabling stuff these <laughs> panels are easier to remove than, than tiles so that's why they put them in VE you're welcome So there's a very shy man over here off camera called Richard and we're basically having a conversation. We're saying that there's people getting off here and there's people getting off in now. This is the new cross passageway. 
And for like, you know, nerds like us that know this stuff, the people that's worked on the project, they know it's on you. But there's passengers getting off now that will just follow signs, because that's what you do. You see a way out sign, you see an interchange sign, and you just follow it. And they don't realise that they're walking along a new bit of infrastructure. But Richard, the quote is, but you will be changing these signs at peak hours. So at the moment, this is the morning peak, you'll change this way out sign so that it won't be here in the evening peak. So you will, he's nodding. So basically you will get the thing at Bond Street, like they do at Bank, where depending on the time of day, the signs will illuminate in a different way to enable passenger customer flow to be different depending on the morning and evening peak demand. So be aware now that at Bond Street, the signs will change depending on what time of day it is. So we're just walking back along the, the new exit corridor. There's a couple of points in the new corridors where there's like steps down. And you might think, well, why isn't the corridor flat? So if I turn the camera, but where the roof comes down here, that's the post office railway that's running across in there. Post office railway. If you don't know about the post office railway, there's a link here in this corner of the screen. So that's it, I've left the gate line. Coming out of the new entrance one more time. The Bond Street upgrade is complete. Come and see your new Bond Street station. Don't forget the crossrail part, Elizabeth line, the crossrail part is still to come. They're building a whole new entrance just over there and also one down Oxford Street. I'll come back and make a video about that some other time. But from the new entrance, 